Hi, I'm Devin from Electron. I'm here at Guitar Center today to show you the analog rhythm. Electron started in Sweden in 1998 when a couple university students took a Commodore 64 sound chip and popped it into a circuit board and made a MIDI synthesizer out of it. Since then, we've created quite a few more machines that are both analog and digital, but the main aspect is power, inspiration, and fun. So today, what I've got here is the analog rhythm. Analog rhythm is a standalone, eight voice true analog drum machine with built in step sequencer and effects engine. It's a true analog sound engine, but you have digital control. So that gives you all these workflow enhancements that are necessary in modern day music production. Things like cut, copy, paste, save, and reload. And that's across patterns, that's across patches, and that's across songs. Looking at the front panel here, we have our velocity and after touch sensitive pads. Then we have the familiar 16 step programming matrix, and then we have our sound controls right here. Underneath my sound control knobs, I have five separate pages to modify my sounds. These pads aren't just for triggering sounds though. There's actually four separate pad pages that allow to use them in very creative and expressive ways in a live performance. Taking a look at the first page, we have our mutes. We can do soloing. We can also queue up several sounds to mute at once and even queue up several sounds to unmute. So muting and unmuting in a live performance context is totally covered. The next page is chromatic. This allows me to play any of the sounds across a four octave range. Now scene mode allows me to use the pads as on and off switches to affect wide parameter changes across the entire device. This is especially handy when you have a single pattern playing and you wanna drastically change it in the middle. Analog Rhythm also has a performance mode where the pads become pressure sensitive macro controllers across several parameters at once that you choose. Analog Rhythm isn't just analog though. You can also load in your own samples via the USB port and layer them on top of the analog voices. First I'm going to show you an analog kick drum and then I'm slowly going to layer a sample on top of it. Now if I'm going too far off into sound design territory, analog rhythm allows me to instantly reload the sound to its previously saved state. All Electron products use endless rotary push encoders, which allow for fine value adjustments by turning and coarse value adjustments by pushing and turning. Analog Rhythm doesn't just have a single analog engine per drum sound. Each of the drum sounds has multiple engines, giving you a ton of different parameters to control. For example, there's an 808 kick drum engine with eight separate parameters, but I can double click the synth button and load in a totally different analog kick drum engine. This one's called Bass Drum FM. Between the eight encoders, the five parameter pages, and the multiple engines per voice, the sound design possibilities are endless. Analog Rhythm has one gig of storage, not just for samples, but for your patterns, your patches, and your kits. Analog Rhythm allows you to interact with the sequencer in ways previously impossible. By simply holding down a note that I've sequenced, I can instantly enter in parameter adjustments and it will stay on that note. The Electron way of adding automation and motion to your sequences is fast and intuitive and fun. What sets the Electron sequencer apart is the ability to assign multiple sonic changes to every single step of the sequence instantly. An example of that would be taking a kick drum across a one bar loop and individually tuning the pitch on certain steps. Once you have that kind of step automation happening across multiple layers, you can see that our sequencer allows you to express yourself in a much more musical way. Each of your eight voices has an analog portion and a sample playback portion. Those are mixed together and the entire rest of the signal path is analog. So each of those eight voices has a real analog multi-mode filter and an overdrive stage. All those eight channels are then mixed into the master bus, which has a stereo analog distortion stage and a stereo analog compressor. In modern electronic music production, it's very important to have warmth and punch and clarity, and nothing does that better than an analog compressor.
Looking at the back panel, you can see that each of our voices has its own analog output. The stereo input on the back allows you to run external instruments like other synthesizers, drum machines, or the output of a mixer, and run all that through Electron's high-quality stereo analog compressor, acting as the glue for an entire hardware setup. We also have, of course, MIDI in, out, and through, but the out and the through also double as DIN sync outputs, so you can clock vintage pre-MIDI equipment without the need for an external sync box. The USB port on the back of Analog Rhythm doesn't just allow you to load in your own samples, it also allows for parameter control from your DAW, multi-channel audio streaming, tight sequencer synchronization, and total recall. There's a lot of information that travels over the USB cable, basically enabling you to use the device as you would a VST plugin in a DAW environment. You're still generating and processing audio in the analog domain. I want to show you how Analog Rhythm integrates with a totally modern DAW production environment through a free software suite we call Overbridge. Overbridge is a free download from our website, electron.se. The first thing we're going to take a look at is the free software utility called the Control Panel. This is where you can see which Electron devices are connected, as well as enable and disable audio streaming to and from the Electron Analog device. Let's see what this looks like in a DAW environment. You can see that I have individual drum sounds coming in all on their own channel. It's really important to note that Overbridge doesn't interfere with your existing sound card setup. All the audio streaming is handled by the plugin itself. So if I look at my preferences here in Ableton Live, I can see that I'm not using any sort of audio interface. As I said before, the USB cable allows for tight synchronization. So as soon as I hit play in my DAW, the machine plays and stays in sync. Now, I really want to show you what Analog Rhythm looks like as a VST plugin. Looking at the plugin here, we can see each of our instrument tabs. With this plugin, I have full control over every single parameter of every single instrument. I also have a special kit tab, which allows me to set up things like my performance macros. I also have a dedicated effects page that shows the analog rhythms built in digital and analog effects. Every parameter is not only controllable from the hardware, but also through the software plugin. So Analog Rhythm is ready to incorporate itself right into your workflow, no matter if you're hardware or software based. Most people associate an analog synth or drum machine with the inability to have presets, but the beauty of Electron's digital control is the ability to store and recall hundreds of presets with tagging. Now when you buy an Analog Rhythm, it comes preloaded with a bunch of cool presets that our team has developed for multiple genres of music. The presets that come with Analog Rhythm are already tagged by our team, so as soon as you turn on the machine, you can start looking for sounds and building your own patterns. When using Analog Rhythm inside your DAW, with our Overbridge technology, every time you save that DAW session, it saves a snapshot of Analog Rhythm. That includes all your patterns and sounds. Analog Rhythm is fun, performance-oriented, powerful, and integrates into any existing setup. You have to try it for yourself. Go check it out at select Guitar Center stores or online at guitarcenter.com.